degrade. So why make something degradable when it doesn't degrade or it causes harm? Scenario two, when it is collected for composting. Right now in Malaysia, we have zero industrial composting. And uh, we heard from another speaker, even in the US, typically it is not collected for composting. Scenario number three, which is the worst, that is when it's littered and it ends up in the ocean. Question is that, will biodegradable plastics solve this problem? Reality is that biodegradable plastics, when you label it biodegradable, people will litter more. This comes from the UN. And it just says that it will not bring any significant decrease in either the quantity or the chemical risk going to the ocean. This is another statement from the UNEP, which says that unless it's exposed to a high temperature of 50 degrees Celsius, which is not in the environment and certainly not in the ocean, it will not degrade. So basically what it means is that it will not solve the problem of marine litter. What about a supply situation when you do a switch over? This is a chart that shows that bioplastics will grow by a really nice 20% per year for the next five years, but it's coming from a very low base. It is less than, it's just above 2 million in 2017. And of which biodegradable plastics is only 800 over 1,000. It is actually, basically people use bio products and make it to bio non-degradable more than biodegradable. So what it means is that if you compare this against the world, world output of conventional plastics with 335 million, you get a minuscule percentage of 0 0.26, which is not possible for a switchover. If you ram it up 10 times, it's only 2.6%. You ram it up 100 times, it's 26%. But what will happen to the food supply? These are mainly from food. If you take food away, you drive out prices, you're going to have a problem of do you want to go green or do you want to go hungry? Now, the next one is that right now, the government, the United Nations has stated that hunger has increased very tremendously recently because of climate change. When you divert more food away from food supply to something else, you will compound the problem. Okay, what about degradation of the environment because of fertilizers, weed killers, and so on and so forth? What about land that is in shortage? What about fresh water in shortage? What about run uh, agriculture runoff which causes eutrophication? Eutrophication causes algae bloom. When it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, it will create a dead zone. It will harm marine animal. Okay, this looks green, but it's not environmentally friendly. That's eutrophication. Okay. Now, our view is that bioplastics has its own use. It has pros and cons. We are not against it. But banning all types of SUP certainly is not viable. Reality is that the normal plastics is useful, is functional, but it becomes a problem when it is littered. So we should be talking about anti-litter and waste management. Unfortunately, in the roadmap that we see coming out from the roadmap, this is an extract, there are four areas that are being highlighted as problem statement. Littering is unfortunately not one of them, and littering is only captured in the challenges, not as a problem statement. So, even the BPI, which is the Biodegradable Products Institute, are saying that, look here, waste management is the key, even though it is biodegradable. This is coming from the United Nations, very recent release just this year. It says that the presence of sound solid waste management systems are as relevant as the so-called biodegradable options as for fossil fuel-based plastics. Reality here is that you need that. Okay? It doesn't matter whether it's biodegradable or it is non-degradable. Preventing litter uh, requires a combination of awareness and so on and so forth. Now, how do we finance that? Now, this is a good part of it is that the roadmaps provide for a levy on plastic bags. And that is something that was done together with the association. And we, we like this part because the levy will be used for addressing uh, plastic pollution and also will have SEPA activities to talk about anti-litter and 3R three, three program. That, I think, is a good part of the roadmap. It has a no straw by default proposal, which again, we believe that's a beautiful part of how we can manage waste. It will develop a regional marine debris project and it will develop a circular economy project. Now, details are not out, but we think that that is moving in the right direction. Um, the document, the roadmap document is a living document. 
And that is the good part of it because even though there is a pro that has been pronounced that it's going to be zero, we are hopeful that along the way, uh, advances in technology as well as real-time circumstances will allow the ministry together with the industry to look at decisions that must be holistic and most importantly, that is science-based. Uh, we believe that the roadmap should not be just towards zero single-use plastics. There is a component of pollution that should be included in there. There's a component of sustainability that should be included there. We believe that it is better to adopt a focused approach on specific types of plastics rather than zero single SUP. That belief is that we believe is just far too wide. Now, I like to repeat that commercial plastics is functional, is useful. It becomes a problem only when it's littered. So littering is basically a behavioral problem. There is a need for us to address this problem. Our solution, our proposal is that approach a holistic roadmap that takes into consideration what we need to curb in terms of restriction or a ban, but not all types. Anti-litter is the key. Stop the leakages, you will solve the problem. Easier said than done, but that's a challenge to we'll take. Circular economy, the TRs, Many of the speakers have touched on that. I'm not going to go into that, but that's something we need to do. And of course, clean up of existing marine litter. That's something that has happened. That's something that will not go away until we take the effort to clean it up. With that, thank you for your attention.